the most powerful company is not the one which is having maximum amount of money but it is the one which is having maximum amount of data why data is more important than money let's discuss how companies are using this data for the betterment of themselves let's take an example of amazon so it's an e-commerce website and let's suppose if you're searching for a carpet what it will do it will recommend you the products based on your searching list right for example if you want a carpet under 1000 and 2000 it will give you the products and it will recommend you the products based on the ones that you like based on the colors based on the type of fabric and this will uh, maximum the chances of you buying that product same thing happens for all the e-commerce same thing happens in youtube as well if you are watching a particular video it will recommend you youtube will recommend you the same kind of video so that your watch time will be maximized and they can show you more ads and they can generate more revenue same model will work on in all the cases and this is how they are leveraging the power of data or specifically data science so now let's discuss how you can learn the skill of data analysis which is a subdomain of data science data science is a large umbrella where we are having a lot of things but data analysis is the one where if we are having data how we can analyze that data so let's see how the whole pipeline of data analysis will go so we'll start with a programming language that python is your go-to language in this particular case because it's easy to use it's very powerful and it's having wide variety of online libraries available so we are going to use python for that you need to learn python from scratch you need to have a very good knowledge in the data structures specifically lists and dictionaries because we are going to use these things to create the data set either in terms of sql based in terms of list and no sql based uh, in terms of json once that part is done we are going to now discuss with data pre-processing part if you are having different types of data set how we can create the data set from scratch if we are having a data set how we can load the data set pre-process it and use uh, and basically analyze that data set making the plot for example if i'm having uh, the youtube data or let's suppose youtube data of geeks for geeks how i can find which video is most popular which video is having most click through rate which video is giving is having the best views to like ratio these are the things that you can easily analyze and based on that you can recommend the same kind of video this is how the title should be right a lot of things can be analyzed pretty easily let's take an example of let's suppose tata if i'm talking about tata so they are having a lot of cars uh, in let's suppose the whole india and let's suppose they want to uh, launch a new car uh, from let's suppose the price is 35 uh, 35 to 40 legs right so one once we are having the data of tata cars all around india in each state how many cars are there what is the price of the car uh, what is the color of the car when it was released all these details if i'm having i can easily find out which state is having the capability to purchase these cars uh, these level of cars for example if i'm talking about any urban state they are definitely going to have the more purchasing power to uh, buy these kind of cars which are having 35 to 40 likes rather than the rural uh, areas of probably india where uh, people are not having that much power to buy these cars so this will help the company to save millions of dollars save the inventory what color people are more tend to buy because definitely we are not going to uh, create same colors uh, means uh, let's suppose 10,000 car for black 10,000 for white 10,000 for red or or vice versa we're not going to do that because we know most of the people are going to buy white and then the second would be uh, black and then the main popular colors and the ratio of uh, people buying those uh, color cars which are very less so definitely we are not going to invest that much money into it that's the core of data analysis you should also have a good knowledge in data visualization so that you can plot the things and make the visualization better so that the end user can see this uh, the things in a better manner how many sales we have made in the month of january february july at the end of december how many how much sales we have made in the year of 2010 11 13 how the things are going this is a very powerful skills that you need to have irrespective of all the industries so to summarize you should have good knowledge in python you should start python data analysis with python you should use python numpy library is here pandas is here you should work on diversified portfolio work on more number of projects try to work on real-time data set right i'm not telling you to work on like the data set that 
earlier we are having where all of the companies are uh, telling you to work on these data set just work on some custom data set i am sharing you couple of links to work on these data set in the description so so please check that out and uh, this is how you should uh, this is how the path of data analysis should be we are also having one more way uh, which is non coding way where you can learn uh, excel or power bi or tableau kind of tools but i am not recommending you in that if you are into the tech field because uh, analytical skills uh, is something very important and that will help you to build the skills if you are good into coding if you are very good into it then you want to uh, dig deeper into the drag and drop models then you can definitely work on tableau and power bi as well but so far this is going to be the whole path if you want more such video uh, and if you want more such details on any specific topic do let us know in the chats basically like the video if you liking the series and uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, thank you so much i'll see you in the next one